Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lusts thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Demonic oppression manifests into the physical oppression we face daily. For a long time, we have been evaluating our situations based on what we see. Because we were focusing on the aftermath of what already taken place, we have misidentified our oppressors. Due to this error, we have been going in circles for multiple generations. Through a lack of knowledge, our oppressors remain unidentified. The Most High has given us an opportunity in the awakening to know who our oppressors are. We have to listen to Yah as he revealed the perpetrators one by one, each by name. In addition to knowing who our oppressors are, Yah want his people to observe his words manifest in the physical realm. The scripture said the word of Yah are powerful and alive. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Because the words of the Most High are alive, they must perform what Yah sent them to do. If we open our spiritual eyes, we would witness the Most High's words manifesting before our very eyes. Every day I observe his words and the messages manifest in the physical realm. Everything written must be fulfilled. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The Most High wants you to take advantage of the abundant knowledge that is available at this hour. Israelites, if we continue to attack the manifestation of what already taken place in the spirit realm, we will remain under demonic oppression. For multiple generations, we have been fighting the kingdom of darkness in the flesh. As I explained to you on multiple messages, fighting Satan in the flesh is Satan fighting Satan. If Satan cast himself out, then his kingdom would be divided. The kingdom of darkness is a well-organized kingdom that is united. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? I want you to take heed, Israelites. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Be encouraged. The Most High's kingdom is greater and in order. Unclean spirits never appear as themselves in the spirit realm and the physical realm. They will always use a disguise to deceive their victims. Unclean spirits wants to appear on the surface as if they are helping you. However, their motives are deceitful. In the spirit realm, unclean spirits will often masquerade as a dead family member, a person you trust that is alive, unfamiliar faces, and animals. For example, you dream of a dead relative giving you the winning lottery numbers. On the surface, it appears as if the dead relative is helping you by giving you the winning lottery numbers. The dead relative is actually a spirit an ancestral spirit of poverty trying to establish a covenant. The person you see in the dream is not your dead relative. Your deceased relative have zero knowledge of what is taking place. Your job is to rebuke the dream. Also in prayer, ask the Most High to give you the interpretation. After rebuking and praying, you will have to read the words of the Most High to decode the symbols you saw. If you are familiar with the words of the Most High, you will know that it is hard for a rich person to make it into the kingdom. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. The Most High did not say it was impossible but very difficult for a rich person to make it into the kingdom. The Most High would never give you the winning lottery numbers. The Most High wants you to depend on him for provision. In addition, the Most High said you could not serve two masters. 
nor could you serve him in money. Money is an idol. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Israelites, the language of the spirit realm are symbols. Rarely ever is your dreams literal. You would have to decode the symbols to unmask the spirit. If we go back to the example of a dead relative giving you the winning lottery numbers, depending on what is happening would determine if the dreams were of the most high or the kingdom of darkness. Always remember, Israelites, everything you see in a dream has a purpose and a meaning. Do not leave anything out. By the unclean spirits disguising itself as a beloved family member that passed away, the unclean spirit is hoping to win the dreamer's trust. The unclean familiar spirit has an ancient covenant with the family's bloodline. Most of the time when dead people show up in your dreams, it is witchcraft and ancestral. The face of the person that the unclean spirit disguised as is usually the person who initiate the family into the covenant. Some people would believe the dream is of the most high. Some people would proclaim Yah sent the dead relative with the information to help with their financial troubles. The dead do not interact with the living. Unclean spirits pretending to be the dead is interacting with you in the spirit realm. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. The Most High is not the Elohim of the dead. He will not send your dead family members to speak to you. It is witchcraft and a familiar spirit that has been in your bloodline for multiple generations. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ye therefore do greatly err. If the dreamer did not rebuke the dream, a covenant was forged. Listen carefully, Israelites. If the dreamer rebuked the dream and then proceed to play the numbers, a covenant was forged. The dreamer's action forged the covenant. By the dreamer going to the store to purchase a lottery ticket with the demonic numbers, gave the unclean spirit the permission it needs to renew the covenant. You have to be careful, Israelites. Satan and his angels are no rookies. Satan is the father of lies and a deceiver. How do you believe Satan became the god of this world? Satan and his angels have been around mankind since the beginning. They know how you operate. The reason a covenant was forged throughout the day, the unclean spirit will bombard the dreamer's mind to play the numbers. After contemplating whether to play, the dreamer submit to the temptation. The generational curse of poverty successfully transferred to the next generation. The unclean spirit of poverty will continue to harass every member of that family to secure its house. This is why it is important to know your oppressors by name. Once a covenant is established in the spirit realm, the unclean spirit will begin to manifest itself in the individual or family clan in the physical realm. The victim's trials and tribulation will gradually increase. As the unclean spirit enlarges territory in the person's life, the demonic oppression will increase until the unclean spirit gains a stronghold. The victim will begin to make irresponsible decisions. It always starts in the spirit realm, then it manifests in the physical realm. That is why the Most High want you to shift your focus to the unseen. Israelites have been blaming the people who are being used and oppressed by the kingdom of darkness to manifest the oppression in their life. Attacking the person is not getting to the root. This is why you have been unsuccessful in gaining your independence from the hybrids and their leaders. The kingdom of darkness will use the people that is empowered to oppress the righteous collectively. If you evaluate our people and their conditions collectively, you will find that there are laws in place that appear to chastise everyone equally. However, when the spiritual wickedness in high places enforce the laws, the Israelites and the other indigenous people are penalized more frequent and severely than other groups. That is how demonic oppression in the spirit realm carry out into the physical realm. The kingdom of darkness will use the people closest to you to oppress you on a personal level. Unclean spirits will use anyone who make themselves available, regardless of race and gender. 
When you attack the specific spirit through spiritual warfare, you are attacking the root. When you kill the root, the oppression stops. Israelites, there are some spirits that only come out of a person through prayer and fasting. And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. If an unclean spirit has a stronghold on your life, praying to relieve the oppression is not sufficient. Fasting is required. There are unclean spirits who are more powerful than other spirits. Principalities are higher ranking demons that control a region. The principalities have lesser demons that operate underneath them. The scriptures reveal to us the story of a man seeking deliverance for his son who was possessed with a dumb and deaf spirit since his childhood. The disciples asked Yeshua why they could not cast out the demon. Yeshua explained to the disciples that their unbelief hindered their ability to cast out the impure spirit. In addition, Yeshua said certain demons come out of a person only through prayer and fasting. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it to go since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him. And he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart, and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. The Most High did not say surgery, prescription pills, boycotting, and marching will cast out unclean spirits. Yah said through prayer and fasting. The reason many of our people are under strong demonic delusions, a lack of knowledge. They do not know how to combat their enemies, nor do they know who their enemies are. The scriptures reveal through knowledge will the just be delivered. Unbelief is another reason Israelites around the world remain in bondage. The spirit of unbelief will cause you to miss opportunities. In addition, cause you to become stagnant. If a spirit has a stronghold on your life, one prayer is not going to cause the spirit to flee from you. Advanced spiritual warfare is required. You have to be committed to your deliverance to stand against the kingdom of darkness in a spiritual warfare battle. High ranking spirits such as infirmity, fear, witchcraft, death, and many others require fasting to be delivered from. The spirit of death is one of the many spirits oppressing Israelites all over the world. The kingdom of darkness is using the spirit of death to eliminate all who do not comply with their agenda. Somehow, the heathens in the kingdom of darkness believe killing a person is going to interfere with the Most High delivering his people. Also, stopping the Most High from returning the earth into the hands of his people. Yah said the dead shall rise first. The scripture said, do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the spirit. Rather be afraid of the one who can kill both the body and the spirit. And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. The heathens define death as the action or fact of dying or being killed, the end of life of a person or organism. Israelites, death is not the end of a life of a person, but the beginning. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Most High. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body 
and to be present with the Lord. The definition of death in the Most Highest Dictionary is when your spirit separate from your body. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. When your spirit, the real you, separates from its house, your body, the individual becomes an empty dough that is often referred to as a body. Your spirit do not die. When your spirit separate from your body, your spirit goes to be with the Most High if you are righteous. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. The heathens failed once again to inform you that death is a spirit. Israelites, everything is a spirit. To be humble, you need the spirit of meekness. To be able to love, you need the spirit of love. Hate is a spirit. Mercy is a spirit. If you want peace, pray and ask the Most High to give you his peace, which is a spirit. When you start to recognize that every personality trait and trials are spirits, you will begin to diagnose your conditions properly. You will begin to heal your conditions as if you are dealing with a spirit. The Most High said, resist the devils and they would flee from you. In addition, prayer and fasting will deliver you from unclean spirits. Do not use the remedies of this world. The kingdom of darkness program you with solutions that would not help your suffering. The kingdom of darkness say counseling would fix your problems. The Most High said rebuke the unclean spirits tormenting you. As you mature in your journey, this message will become clear. Israelites, one of the most common ways the spirit of death gain legal rights to oppress a person is through sin. The scripture said the wages of sin is death. Now the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sin separate you from the Most High. When iniquity is found in a person, it opens the door to the kingdom of darkness to have its way with the individual. Opportunities that were not available to unclean spirits are now presenting itself when iniquity is found in a person. Israelites, there is a difference between sin and iniquity. Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. Once you recognize your error, you repent and turn from the sin. Sin becomes iniquity when a person becomes unrepentant. They refuse to acknowledge their sins and continue to engage in sinful acts. If you do not get sin under control, it graduates to iniquity. When sin is mature, it gives birth to death. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Yeshua did not take your sins away. You are held accountable for your sins. However, Yeshua took the death penalty away if you are righteous. If you continue to transgress the laws, then you do not love the Most High. If you love him, you would honor his laws. Therefore, the person who's in sin is not covered by Yahshua's sacrifice. If Yahshua took away your sins, why are you paying for the consequences of your sins now? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. The kingdom of darkness through religion and altering the scriptures manipulated the purpose of the Messiah's death. Israelites, the spirit of death shows up in the spirit realm in multiple ways. The more wisdom you gain on how the spirit realm operate, the more complicated your dream life becomes to confuse you. A common way the spirit of death seek to forge your covenant when you see yourself being shot in the dream. Being shot in the dream is a witchcraft hit on your life. Someone sent the spirit of death to seek a covenant. Being shot in a dream also could mean the workers of iniquity are at their altars casting spells on you. When you see yourself dying in the dream, it does not necessarily mean you are going to die. If you see yourself being buried and people are crying over you, then yes, the Most High is warning you a physical death is near. 
a more complex way the spirit of death forged a covenant when you see yourself having sex with the same gender animals and when you see yourself committing adultery the wages of all these acts are death if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them and if a man lie with a beast he shall surely be put to death and he shall slay the beast and if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too thou shalt kill the woman and the beast they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them and the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death some people become disturbed when they have abominable dreams some people are too embarrassed to share and they never do anything about those dreams. It is important to read the words of the Most High to decode the symbols you are seeing in the spirit realm. Most people would not predict the spirit of death in a sexual dream. They would assume it is the spirit of lust. The more advanced you become, the more complicated your dreams are. If you do not rebuke the dream, a covenant was forged with the spirit of death. In the physical realm, the spirit of death can come upon you in the form of infirmities, discrimination, police brutality, and countless other ways. When the workers of iniquity send the spirit of death, they can send the spirit of death to kill you instantly or several years from the time you had the dream. Israelites, the purpose of your dreams, the Most High is informing you of what is happening in your life. It is your responsibility to get up and fight back. The Most High is giving you an opportunity to change the outcome. Israelites, you have to become angry in your spirit, especially if the spirit of death is seeking a covenant. This is not the time to panic and shut down. When you respond in that manner, you give the spirit of fear an opportunity. Can you discern why unclean spirits travel in a pack? They open the doors for each other. You have to rise up and fight. The scripture said the words of the Most High are powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. When you use the words of the Most High, it will destroy the unclean spirits and the unrepentant worker of iniquity. They will receive spiritual wounds. When spiritual warfare is executed properly, a physical death can happen to the unrepentant worker of iniquity. Israelites, you have to become angry in your spirit. I do not play when the kingdom of darkness and its human agents interfere with my journey. Someone is going to lose. It's either the unclean spirit or me, and it's definitely not going to be me. Who can decree a thing and have it come to pass when the Most High did not decree it? Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? When you rebuke a spirit, you have to command it on where it should go. If you don't, it will remain in dry places seeking an alternate house. Spirit of death, I command you to go back, kill your sender, then jump in the lake of fire and die. Father, torment this devil before his time. Father, send your fire to burn my personal belonging on the evil altars. Burn down the altar, rain fire and brimstone on the worker of iniquity, and overthrow the devil hiding behind the altar. I hate them with a perfect hatred. Blot out my enemy's name from the book of life so they can never receive redemption. Let their sword enter their own heart. Let their caucus become a meal to defile the air. Return my enemy's wicked deed back to them and strike them a hundred times. Father, avenge yourself of your enemies. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies, but the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, 
and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Israelites, you can change your situation by believing and trusting your Elohim. Those were not my words, but the words of the Most High. Search the scriptures for the words of the Most High that is going to pierce your enemies and do serious damage to the kingdom of darkness and its human agents. All things are possible for them that believe. Israelites, now is the time to wake up and do something about your life. The spirit of death do not have the final say. Remember, you already won. Demonic oppression is not permanent, but temporary. As you continue to attack the root, you will eliminate oppression in its entirety. The Most High has given you power to overcome the entire kingdom of darkness and by no means can they hurt you. The righteous has a hedge of protection around them. The Most High is seeking to show himself strong in those whose heart is perfect towards him. Israelites, give the Most High an opportunity to show you his sovereignty. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. <laughs>